Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a quick video, only about five minutes, showing off a little bit of the, some of the funner games that I've had in the last couple days. Not really full games, just clips from some of the, the fun ones. And in this game, we were losing, and so I decided that uh, I was going to try and push this flank and be a little bit more aggressive. And we ended up running into a mutant. I think it was a tiger back here, uh, an A44. I think he's already dead. And there ended up being an IS-3A, I think it was. So we have a TS-5 and a Centurion. So I decided to push around on the mutant to see if I can back him up into this rock. And sure enough, he obliged. He tries to shoot while <laughs> half uh, falling off the side of the rock. So I managed to hit him in his little cheek weak spot, which I, I finally figured out that is actually there. So shoot the IS-3 in the... I'm going to juke to the right. Oh, did you see him? He actually bit on the juke. So now I'm going to try and get around this guy's flank and put a shot into his side and do some damage. And things are looking a lot better now. I've got this guy's rear from behind, but then the Astron comes in and annihilates both of my friends. So it's kind of a good thing I went around that corner. So we ended up taking out the IS-3, putting a shot in the mutant, taking out the tiger, and the aggression on that flank ended up working out pretty good. And then fast forward a little tiny bit, the... Um, Got a couple shots into uh, Mr. Astron over here. Managed to bounce one, and I'm over-angling a bit here, and he manages to put one into the side of my tank and end up tracking him a bit there. And he's fired about two or three times now, so he's shooting at something over there. So I'm going to start aiming in on his little tumor, and boom, his little two stars on his barrel weren't enough. He evidently was a pretty decent player. And then this game was in my object 430. We were losing pretty heavily here, so I decided to just go in like full full send on this heavy tank. And I had a, a little bit of help in the back there. There was a Waffentrager Panzer IV and a, a 268, I think that is. So I thought, hey, why not go out with a bang and see what I can do against this big heavy tank. So I go in, put a shot into the side, and he's aiming for me. And he looks like he's not quite got the, the aim to hit me there, but he does end up hitting me. So I hit him twice, and then I'm going to come around here again and spin around. These are the kind of, kind of engagements that are really fun. And put one in the side of his turret, and then my friends help me finish him off. And then after this, we got pile drive because we didn't have enough tanks and enough uh, turbo? enough yeah, uh, good positioning on the map. Turbo, and in this game... It came really right down to the wire. It was me and a, a T-54 lightweight. And there was an STRV on full health and a really, really healthy tortoise. So I was going to see if I could try and cap this one out. And it didn't happen. At about 30 seconds, this guy shows up. And he ruins my, my capping party. So I'm going to roll back and see how much damage I can do to this guy before I end up going down. And the tortoise is on his way in. So I've got to try and see if I can kill this guy before the tortoise shows up. So I'm going to come around this guy. This guy's in siege mode, so he's not turning and moving quite as quick. And he's not very heavy either, so I'm actually able to use the lightweight to push him around a little bit. So I get his side, and unfortunately the lightweight's DPM isn't what it used to be. I remember how fast I could shoot and how much better it was when it was tier 8. But moving up to tier 9, it really didn't make the tank much better. It actually made it probably worse in every single way. Shoots on the move worse. It's got worse accuracy. All that kind of stuff. So now I'm just kind of pushing this guy around. And I'm trying and trying and trying to just get as many shots in as I can. And I shouldn't have been in first person mode no. here. I had a tr real trouble telling where my turret was even yeah. pointing. And it ended up getting me shot by this stupid tortoise. And now I'm trying to hide behind this guy. And then he jukes forward. And I couldn't keep, quite keep up. And I'm taking shots from the stupid tortoise. And um, I thought, okay, I would try Maybe this is my chance to get around and see if I can get on the side of the tortoise. Well, and that didn't end up happening either. So, I mean, I killed the whole STRV by myself. few uh, close encounter uh, sort of pushes and, and fun 1v1 no, versus I mean, 1v2 sort of situations there. And, yeah, you can't win them all. And I ended up losing two out of those those three. But sometimes you just got to push around that corner and, and not care what the rest of your team is doing. All right. Uh, thank everyone for watching, and I'll see you guys in this video. I've had some really nice, fun carry games, and I'll be showing those in the, the next, uh, probably tomorrow and the next day. Thanks. I'll see you guys again. Ciao.